we are gonna do a soft glam makeup tutorial today. Um, I do have um, an interview with a magazine here in like a, about an hour and a half. And so we're gonna do just a little soft glam makeup and I'm gonna show you the makeup I'm gonna use today. And it's actually, um, the majority of what I'm gonna use is the makeup I've been using and loving for almost three years. So yes, I can color match you to this makeup. I have a big old palette cause I like lots of options, but we can start you out with a really small palette. Um, and I am going to pin how to get color match. So if you are new to my page, my name is Kayla. I teach all things beauty, makeup related. Um, I share kind of some mid-sized fashion. And my hope is that I do the hard work for you so that like your life is really easy. So if that resonates with you, go ahead and follow. So as you can tell, uh, my chest and neck are much darker than my face. And that's because I had a self tanner night. Hello friends. Uh, two nights ago, I don't have a BB cream that necessarily matches me right now. Um, yeah, that's going to be too light. So I'm going to have to add some bronzing drops. Um, anything that I use today, you guys, I, you can DM me at any time. You're welcome for your match. Uh, and I will send you uh, whatever links I'm using. So I am using my Celeste BB cream. This I use underneath my, uh, Saint makeup, or I just use it on its own. Some people ask, why do you use a BB cream? I love, um, like, do you guys see how I have like a lot of redness? I have a lot of redness right now too, because I got a cool peel. If you don't know what that is, there's like a lot of science behind all that stuff. Um, I got a cool peel almost a week ago and, um, and so my skin is like kind of doing all of the things. Do you guys see all those age spots? Those are going to like, or sunspots, those are going to go away. Hey, you guys. And if you're new and watching, I would love to hear where you're from, especially if you're watching the replay. So anyways, I love the BB cream underneath because it just evens everything out. And then I don't have to work as hard with my makeup. Okay. That's just how it goes. Like if you have a ton of redness, if you have a ton of discoloration, you do have to do more work with makeup. And when you have the BB cream on, you don't have to do that. You're just getting the hang of it. You need to order more since you got the basic four. I know. You know what's funny is everyone that starts with the basic four, because I always tell, hi, I'm from Morgan too. I always tell you guys, like, you can always start with just the basic. What always ends up happening <laughs> is that, hi from Australia. Hey, if you don't have a color match yet or you are not on someone's waiting list, I can, if you are in the UK, Australia, or Mexico, I have a waiting list. You can actually go into my profile and fill it out. And as soon as I know the exact date of when we're coming to you, which is going to be this year, um, I will send you an email. So you do have to look out for my email. It's going to be from Kayla Gibson MUA and then like some other like things up afterwards. Um, question, what brush do you use for a very light look with makeup? Great question. So you can use our bronzer brush. Or you can use the blend brush for very, very, very light application. Hi, you guys. Yeah, you guys can ask questions at any time. Um, I am closer to Idaho. Yeah, I'm on the eastern side. So, okay, so the BB cream, and it has SPF in it, so it, it just, like, does all the things, you guys. And I also like to use the, I mean, look at how pretty the BB cream is by itself. I also like to use the BB cream just by itself sometimes um, with just, like, bronzer and my blush. Um... I got my eyebrows done, what is it, four weeks ago now? Wait, four? Four or five weeks? I think it's four weeks now. Um, and they're starting to like bloom into their color, but I don't know, I don't like to go over them still. <laughs> they're pretty much already like healed, but um, I have a cute little guy right there. Um, but look how pretty this BB cream is, just by itself. Very, very light layer of coverage. Um, I get asked a lot, do I prefer this or the Pomifera one? Because I do have both and use both. I like this one for more coverage, and if you are more combo skin, oily skin, this one is definitely better for you. Um, oh my gosh, they're going to be so excited to see me live. Tell them to come say hi to me. Am I coming to San Antonio? No, not anytime soon. Am I supposed to come to San Antonio? I went to San Antonio last year for our Saint, um, Saint trip, like our Saint, what did it, we, conference. Can a CC cream be used? Yes. In fact, you guys, okay, uh, how long do your eyebrows last? They say that you actually only need to touch up like every year or more. So um, the BB cream I recommend is the Celesti one if you have combo or oily skin. 
And if you have super, super dry skin, I recommend the Pomifera one. Um, you can just DM me and I will give you those links, but I also have all of those links in my profile. Would you still use either the bronzer brush or blend brush with the stipple application with the cream makeup? No, you would use more of a swirling um, motion if you want a lighter coverage. Okay, so I have like a lot of my redness now kind of evened out. I'm not going to have to work as hard with my makeup. So I'm going to use this palette again. Really, you could get away with four colors for your entire face. I'm extra. I like more of the things. So I have more in my um, palette, but you do not have to have all of all of this drama in your palette. I just I am a makeup girly through and through. I love makeup. I love variety, all of the things. So um, oh, so I was just telling you guys, okay, so CC cream. I am working with a big makeup company here soon. Well, I'm working with them currently. Um, but to show you guys a CC cream that's really good. And you guys, I want you to know that just because I share something else that isn't Saint or isn't Celeste doesn't mean I'm I don't love those products anymore. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm always gonna like love NYX on the side and I'm always gonna love, you know, certain things from Tarte on the side or Benefit, things like that. So anyways, I just want you to know that. Okay, so I am carving out uh, my forehead and my cheekbones. Also, also, um, hi, fr Prog, but you're from Oregon. Okay, love that. Did you um, move over there? Okay, so... What else was I going to just tell you guys? Oh, I think I used, okay, I think I used that one inappropriately. Um, I'm not going to go into this brightening shade. And you guys are going to see how this is just going to color correct. I do have purple under my eyes, like a purple blue. And I'm just correcting. Look at that. Just a little bit. And you guys, our makeup, if you don't know, if like this is your first time experiencing me putting Saint on or you have thought about using it, the littlest goes a long way. Like, look at this. Um, you hit that pan, like you see that pan, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm almost out of product. No, literally this, this is going to last me for another few months. <laughs> Hi from Houston. Hi. Oh, you just got your palette today. Yay. That's so exciting. Hi from Houston. I have family in Houston. We keep talking about how we need to go down there and visit my family. Um, especially cause like I am like a big art girl. I don't know if you guys knew that. Did you know that? I actually used to like paint like abstract art and I would actually paint for like wineries and like a little cafe around here. Um, so what is my cloth? Um, yes, you can't believe how much less makeup you need because the colors match me so much. Exactly. Like, yeah, it's crazy. When you have the right colors, you really shouldn't need that much makeup at all. It's so my brightening shade palace that I put under my eyes. No, it was actually white peach. And now I'm going to go into sandy. And sandy is the color I'm going to use only because um, I have my self-tanner on. If I don't have my self-tanner on, I am typically a uh, uh, candlelit. Um, and then I really love Athens. Like probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll be Athens again. Hi from Southern New Jersey. Love it. Okay, so as you can see, what I'm doing now is I'm tapping that skin tone shade. So yes, I know it's like, wait, why are you using a color that's darker than your face? Well, I'm trying to match my this. <laughs> I'm trying to match my self tanner. And you guys, when I color match you, that's what I look at. I look at all of that stuff. So like when you send me a selfie to get color match and it's just between you and I, I'm not going to go post it on social media. Um, I've gotten questions like, are you going to post this anywhere? I'm like, no, of course not. Um, you stand in front of a window three feet away from it and natural light, of course, no filters. Don't do it at night. No car light, nothing like that. And I want you to give me like your neck and your chest because I match your neck and chest also to your face. Because if you're like me, your face is always lighter than the rest of your body. Um, just because you either use uh, SPF, which you better be, um, or your makeup kind of shields you, or you're just exfoliating, you know, like you also should be. Um, and so you're, you know, you're just, okay, don't mind that. Don't mind that. It looks so much worse on camera than it actually is in person, but I love this self-tanner. It's like this violet undertone. 
Okay, so you guys, over on my beauty page today, my Facebook beauty page, I'm going to show, um, uh, what is it called? Fine hair, uh, styling products. I'm going to show those. Um, a couple products I've been using for a while, because that is like one of the main things I get asked all of the time. Like, what styling products do you use with your fine hair? Um, and so... Uh, what tanner do I use? It's called Pasty Girl. I know it's like a funny name. Um, but this adorable mom, like little mom, mom uh, started this business, this, um, bit, like self tanning business. And, uh, yeah, anyways, I fell in love with the, the tanner last summer because I love like, it's got this violet undertone. I freaking love it. I love it so much. And then it also, she has this tanning water that I use on my face. And it's like the only tanning stuff that doesn't make my face break out. So I've really been loving that. And I love supporting small moms. I do. She did give me a code. Um, and it's up in my profile, but I can always like send it to you. Um, too much foundation. Well, then you can leave Beth. This is what I like to wear. Um, if that was meant to be rude, I don't know what the point of that was. I'm in Central Oregon. The sun doesn't shine here this time of year. No! Um, and I'm wearing more foundation because, well, one, I want to. And two, we're doing a soft glam look here. Okay. So I am um, going to now put bronzer on. So bronzer is totally optional. However, it's one of those, like, products. I'm like, you have to use it. You got to use it. Um, Beth, it's not helping, actually. It's not helping. When you're telling me I'm wearing too much foundation when I'm a makeup artist and this is what I'm choosing to put on my face um, because I'm going to be on an interview later, like, it's not helping. It's it's rude, honestly. And I don't know. I just don't know why. I just don't. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm different. Like, I don't say things to people if it's going to, like, offend them or hurt their feelings unless it truly is, like, helpful. Like, this isn't, you know, this isn't helpful. <laughs> Um, I was shocked. People always say I have some dark to my skin. So I thought it was light medium, but I think lighter and lighter. I thought based on your colors. Oh, what do you mean? Thank you for saying that. Okay. So I use bronzer and hormonal acne. Yes. I use bronzer, um, above my eyebrows and on my cheekbones. This is where I like to use it. Um, I'm keep artist too. I don't know what that means. I don't know what keep artist is. Okay, so tips for covering hormonal acne. You can go over your hormonal acne with Aspen Contour first before you use any other product. It's really going to help kind of just like tone all of those colors down. Thank you so much. I won't listen. <laughs> Thank you for saying purple is my color. So what's funny is I did a color analysis. Do you guys know what that is? Color ana analysis. You're a cake up artist too, Beth? Mm. Um, anyways, so I, um, I don't even know what I was saying because I have some rude people on my profile right now. Okay. So I, oh, purple. So do you guys know what a color analysis is? If you don't, um, it's when you basically do like drapes of color over your body and you send these pictures to this, the color analysis experts and they basically determine what your colors are. My colors are, um, like my good colors, our... Um, our soft autumn, so like, uh, like sage, kind of like a rusty orange, uh, soft charcoal, those colors. And then a spring palette is my sister palette, which also looks good when I have, I like makeup on. Um, and so this is part of the spring palette. Um, thank you so much. Do I have a video that shows what you do with eye darkness and bags? Yes, I do. It's kind of far down in my profile. Okay. So I put on nude lip and cheek, and then I'm going to um, blend in Renaissance. I added in Renaissance. I actually thought the other day that I was using Spellbound, and I'm glad I'm not because Spellbound we don't have anymore. But Nude and Renaissance, you guys, look how gorgeous this combo is. Isn't that so stunning? And um, I always tell my people this, Beth, why are you here? I'm blocking you. You're so rude. Bye. 
by by block by Beth block. Okay. So anyways, I personally like more um makeup than the average person. I like the look of makeup. So you I always also tell my people don't put as much on as I am on camera because I also have to put more on on camera so that you guys can see it. Um yay. She is a professional She's also a professional makeup artist. Beth is. Ooh, I did. I blocked her. So rude. So rude. I just don't understand it. I would never go on to somebody else's profile and just like trash talk them in their live or ever on their page. Like I just don't understand when that ever became acceptable. You guys like it is so wild. The hate that I have. <laughs> you should do the color matching with clothing. It's really, really good. It's so cool. Um, yeah, I just don't know when, when that ever became acceptable, but it's so, so, so bad. I get hate on the daily and I don't honestly, like, I, I don't let it bother me, but when you're sitting here continuing to troll on my, on my, no, that's so rude. Um, I know it's just weird. And she's like, I, you're a make, I'm a makeup artist. Well then lady, hi, then you know that being on camera you are supposed to apply more but I guarantee you she's not a makeup artist and if she is she's a really tacky one and I hope she doesn't talk to her clients like that because that's so rude like what if I was one of her clients and she didn't know it's like hmm um anyways <laughs> okay so I am now adding okay look how pretty starlit illuminator it is like freaking unicorn it's like a unicorn um <laughs> my Taylor Swift lip lipstick video yeah I just I'm like she uses I heard she uses Pat McGrath but I also heard is that how you say it? Pat McGrath but um also heard that it's always out of stock so you know I don't know who has time to waste on the negativity it's like so bizarre so bizarre okay I am now gonna do my um what are these my eyes <gasps> my eyes so I'm going to prime them really quick. I'm going to add a main highlight. Um, this is how you found me. That's so fun. That video just really took off. It was so fun to do. Um, what's funny is I made it before the Super Bowl and it did well before the Super Bowl. But then after the Super Bowl, again, it like took back off again. Um, yes, confidence is quiet, but insecurity is loud. <laughs> That's so true. Okay, so I am setting, I am setting my eyeshadow primer. And when I say eyeshadow primer, I just use my main highlight. And I'm setting with the Celeste powder. You guys, this is like one of the best powders I've ever, ever used. So much that I like talked about it and we're sold out of it right now. Um, it's supposed to come back at the end of next month though. But it is so stinking good. I love it. <laughs> Got powder in my eyelashes. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm going to do... Have you guys used those new Tarte Maracuja? These? Have you guys used these? Here's the thing. I want to talk about these. They're good. I'm not going to lie. They're good. Actually, I love this color. It's the Rosy Mauve. It's so stunning. Um, I'm actually... I think I could replicate that that color right now. Um, but the, I, I just like for how expensive it is, it's kind of crazy because you do have to replay it. I just dropped something ladies and I didn't know what it was. All right, let's do a lip liner really quick. And then we're going to do our lipstick and our eyes. If others don't like what you do, they are welcome to not watch your videos. I know. You know what's you know what's really bizarre though? Is even after I called little Beth out there, is I'm sorry if you're watching the replay and you have no idea what's going on. Maybe you saw her comments. Um, is that like even after I was like, no, Beth, you know, this is what I'm gonna use, she just kept going. And I'm like, either one, you're just like, are you obsessed? Like, what's going on? Um, because it's very strange that you're still here when it clearly I bother you. And yeah, anyways. Okay, so I am putting Renaissance on right now. And it's like this, that raisiny color. It's so pretty. 
And then this is why I like to have a big palette because I like like different lip and cheeks. So I have nude here, Renaissance here, and then Love Spell here. Love Spell, you guys, is finally permanent because Saint, uh, we just always sold out and Saint was like, oh, I guess we better make it permanent. Uh, cause we sold out every time they would come up, like come back with it. Okay. Okay. Let's do a little starlet in the middle. I love putting a powder illuminator in the middle and you guys, here's a little trick. This can help your lip like color last longer by adding some kind of powder to it. Uh, someone just asked me if I still use the blurring powder. Yeah, that's the powder I was just using. It's actually not called a blurring powder. I call it blurring powder. It's called like a finish powder. Are there any sales coming up? I doubt it. We don't have sales very often because we keep our prices pretty low. So I, I doubt it. But I will tell you that we have this color coming out soon. It's Dream. I love this gorgeous girl more than... Uh, basic, which you guys know basic is my favorite transition color, and more than Bubba. Uh, I just think it's like such a perfect neutral shade. Like it, it's just so gorgeous. So this will come out in March for the month. It'll be like limited time. And I actually do see Dream. I can't say for sure, but almost every time I've said a product is going to sell out, it normally does. And I was right about Spellbound with that. I was right about Renaissance with that. Um... There's always a sale on the bundles. Yes, that is true. You can always have savings with like the collections or the bundles. That is true. So yes, this is dream. I see this selling out and I see I see a couple other of our uh, shades of the month selling out that are going to come up this year. Um, your story about putting powder where your beard goes, hilarious. <laughs> Okay, so Dream is right there. Where, I was not prepared for this video. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Revival. We're just sticking kind of with that little plum purple theme here. Hi friends. So I'm gonna just pat that color on the outer corner. Okay. Now I'm gonna pat it just, I'm gonna bring it a little bit more in. Hi friends, hello, hello. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip to this fluffy side and I'm going to just soften that outer corner. So I'm not doing anything super crazy, but I am trying to make my eyes like, you know, purple. My t-shirt, you guys, it's like a Walmart t-shirt. I love Walmart, like I, yeah, I love, I like I get a lot of basics from Walmart and Amazon. Um, so this is a Walmart find. I'm pretty sure it's like trim, trim and True or whatever. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the brand. Uh, I found some really pretty like little split neck hoodies the other day um, for only like $14 and they're so pretty cute. Where do you go to get a color analysis? So there are ones in like in what's in person. I just don't have any near me. Um, so I did mine online and mine was called I think it's called created colorful. I think that's what it's called. Okay, so I'm now putting Venus right here on my eyelid. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Starlet to it just to make it more purple. Cause why not? Why not go lavender? I'm trying to bring the spring here, you guys. Um, time and true. Oh, it's tr time and true, time and true. Okay, time and true. Thank you for that clarification. Okay, so love this color. I actually did this I think this combo the other day and people were very interested. Okay, I'm just going to make sure everything's soft and blended. Okay, and I am going to add my mascara and you guys always, always ask about my mascara. Um, my mascara, well, I, I use two. I use two the most often now, ever since December. I use the Celeste False Lashes one, and then I use the City Beauty Beyond one, which if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that that's like a ride or die for me. Um, but that and the, oh, are they up here? Yes, okay. Oh my gosh. And the lash serum that I use, 
is 50% off through the end of today. So if you've been thinking about trying those, now's the time. I, I don't actually think that I've seen them 50% off ever. I'm pretty sure I have not. I've seen, I've seen the mascaras go like buy one, get one free, but I have not seen the lash serum as low as 50% off. Just so you know. Hi from Richland, Virginia. I have used the Thrive Mascara. Yeah. Okay. So Okay, so here's the mascara, the uh, lash serum. People ask me about that a lot. <laughs> it's the only one I found that doesn't irritate my eyes. My eyes are very, very sensitive. Did I tell you guys I have to go to a retina specialist? Oh, yeah, anyways. Okay, so here is Beyond Mascara. Some people are like, oh my gosh, that's kind of spendy. But here's the thing, you guys, um, with my, I always have a discount code. With my discount code, it comes out to like the same price as any of like the Tarte, the benefit those kind of uh, mascaras typically and this is a treatment as well as a mascara so um that's yeah that's how that goes but then for 50 percent off it's like uh as much as a drugstore makeup or mascara oh what exfoliator do i use i actually use um zeo zeo skincare it's called the exfoliating polish um i think i have a link for that actually I probably don't have it in my profile, but I think I do have a link for that. Uh, but the exfoliating polish, Pomifera also has one um, that I do also have. But you just stocked up with your leak in trying lash serum. You're going to love the lash serum. My gosh. So what's funny, here's the funny thing about the lash serum, is I was using City Beauty before I ever even tried the lash serum. My friend at work, uh, she had had like lash extensions and they, they really just beat up her, her natural lashes. And I like looked at her one day after she had stopped wearing them and I was like, dude, what are you? No, there's not waterproof mascara, but this stuff like hot, like does not transfer on me. Um, I was like, what? Your lashes are so long. She's like, oh, I've been using a lash serum. I'm like, oh, what are you using? She's like city beauty. I was like, wait, I use city beauty products. <laughs> so I asked them if I could try it. And then I ended up loving it. Um, because I have been approached by a couple other companies to promote their lash serum and you guys know I will not promote something unless I like it and um and I just I couldn't promote with them I actually even told one company because they asked me a few times and they were they were so wonderful they asked me a few times you know like hey you know okay so try this they tried to actually troubleshoot with me with their lash serum because I was telling them I was like hey first of all it's making my eyes really dark I it actually burns my eyes kind of thing and, um, they were like, okay, well, you know, and I was like, Hey, you know what? Like, I don't, I can share it. I can share about it. I just, I need you to know that I'm going to be honest and tell my followers that this is what it's done for me. If you're okay with that, then I don't mind sharing that, that I have tried it. Um, and then they never responded to me, which I don't blame them. Like, you know, because a lot of the people that use their lash serum love it. Um, I just wasn't one of them because... It just, it bothered my eyes too badly. Um, so I was, yeah, I was very honest with them. I was like, yeah, I'll absolutely share about it. I just have to let you know that this is what I'm going to say about it as well. Not to bash. I just, I cannot be dishonest with my followers, you know? Like, look at you guys. Look at that. Lash serum helps your lashes grow. It helps ones that you've lost grow. Like, my eyelashes, I've only actually been reusing my lash serum for like a month now. Um, because I was out of it. I have to scrape <laughs> that off in a second. Um, and my eyelashes are already huge again. It's crazy. So I got to let this dry. So as soon as my mascara dries, I'm going to take this spoolie and I'm just going to like flake it off like that. And then it'll be good as new. Um, but I have to now go and go on Facebook, my fa my beauty Facebook to talk about some hair products. So if you want to see anything over there, go follow me over there. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. I will see you later. Bye.